Biomech Probs, Finding Segment Center of Mass, a series of Biomech Talk. For some backstory on this problem, we're always talking about the center of mass and all of the things we do in biomechanics, but we haven't gone through how to actually find that. And in order to find the whole body center of mass, we need to start by finding the center of mass of each segment. So for this biomech problem, we're going to find the center of mass position of the thigh with these hip and knee coordinates specified here, a pixel to meter ratio of 100 pixels per meter, a female athlete, and using the Deliva adjustment segment parameters. Then we're going to be using these equations which will help us find the center of mass in the x and y directions by relating the proximal and distal ends of the segment. So this is our table from the Deliva paper that we're going to be using to solve this problem. So we want to find the center of mass position of the thigh. So we can see that the endpoints of the thigh are going to be the hip joint center and the knee joint center, with our hip joint center being the proximal end of the segment. Then if we look at the longitudinal center of mass position as a percentage, we can see that for females on the thigh, the center of mass is going to be 36.12% of the length away from the proximal joint center, which is the hip joint center for this problem. And why do we care about all of this? So if we can find where the center of mass is located for any body segment, we can then use these coordinates to find the whole body center of mass. As always, we're going to start our problem by setting up our engineering paper with our problem solving process. Then I'm going to add my name, the number of the assignment and the problem number, as well as the date and the page number. Next, I'll write out my problem statement, which is going to be find the center of mass coordinates in the x and y direction of the thigh in meters. And for this problem, we're going to assume that we're using the Deliva segment parameters, and we're going to pull the equation from our equation sheet, which tells us how to find the center of mass coordinates in the x and y directions by relating the proximal and distant, uh, distal ends of the segment. Our hip and knee coordinates should look familiar from a previous problem we did about finding the length of a segment. And then our pixel to meter ratio is 100 pixels per meter. We know that our subject is female, and then pulling from the Deliva table that we talked about previously, our longitudinal center of mass position as a percentage of the thigh is going to be 36.12% of the distance from the hip to the knee, um, with that percentage being relative to the proximal end of the segment, which is going to be the hip. Next, we're going to draw our figure, which is going to have the coordinates of our hip and knee. And then we're also going to draw an approximate position of the center of mass, which we won't know until we solve. Now we're ready to start solving, um, but before we can get into the equation, we need to convert our hip and knee coordinates, which are in pixels, into meters using our ratio. So for the hip x coordinate, we're going to take 429 pixels and multiply that by 1 over 100 meters per pixel. And that is going to equal to 4.29 meters, which is the x-coordinate of the hip. And we're going to repeat that process for the y-coordinate of the hip, x-coordinate of the knee, and the y-coordinate of the knee. Now for the fun part, we're ready to set up our equation, which we pulled from our equation sheet. And so we've got the x-center of mass position is equal to the x-coordinate of the proximal end of the segment minus the proximal end of the segment minus the distal end of the segment times the center of mass percentage from the proximal which we pulled from the Deliva table and we need to be very careful that we pay attention to our parentheses on this equation otherwise we can end up with the wrong coordinate information. And now that we have our equation set up we're ready to plug in our values. So for our proximal x coordinate we have 4.29 meters. For our distal x coordinate we have 4.69 meters. We're going to be using 36.12, which is our percentage that we got from the Deliva table, and we need to remember to divide that by 100, so that ends up as a decimal. And then for our y coordinates, we have 8.06 is the proximal coordinate of the segment coming from the hip, and then the 7.83 meters is the distal coordinate coming from the knee. And again, we're using that 36.12 value and dividing by 100. And once we do those calculations, we should end up with an x coordinate of 4.43 meters and a y coordinate of 7.98 meters. 
And as always, we need to check our work. So does this make sense? So is 4.43 meters 36% of the X distance from the hip? So to double check this, I'm gonna take the X coordinates from the hip and the knee, and I find that that X length is 0.4 meters. And if I take 36% of that length, I'm gonna get 0.144 meters. And if I add that to the X coordinate of my hip, I'm gonna see that I get 4.43 meters, which is the same as what I calculated in my equation. So my X coordinate makes sense. And then I'm just gonna think through what's happening with my Y coordinate. So I calculated 7.98 meters, and we can see that 7.98 is closer to 8.06 meters, which is our hip coordinate, um, than it is to the 7.83, which is our knee coordinate. And this makes sense because 36% is a smaller portion of 100%, so we would expect our Y coordinate to be closer to the hip than it is to the knee. So far, I think my calculations look correct. And now I'm ready to write out my final answer. So we found that the thigh center of mass is 4.43 meters in the X direction and 7.98 meters in the Y direction. So in this video, we found the center of mass position of a segment, in this case the thigh, which can help set us up to find the whole body center of mass, which is used in other biomechanics applications. A series of biomech talk, biomech probs, finding segment center of mass.